Hi everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna look at how to create communication sites in SharePoint Online. And if you're wondering why you should use them, we created a video on that a couple of weeks ago, which tells you all about communication sites, what they're for and why they're useful. If you wanna watch that video first, click the link in the top right hand corner of the video player now. If you're interested in seeing more how-to videos on SharePoint Online, you should check out our school at school.collaboration.coach. Over there, we just finished our SharePoint Online for Beginners course, and we've refreshed the content, so it now has over 55 videos, and there's more than two hours of content. We regularly refresh our courses to keep up with the changes that Microsoft make in Office 365. The video coming up is actually taken from the course SharePoint Online for Beginners, so if you wanna see more, then please check us out at school.collaboration.coach. All right, so, so far the events team have created their team site and they've been uploading documents and happily collaborating with each other. What they wanna do next though is publish information about the events that they're scheduling to the rest of the company. Now, rather than allow everyone across the company to have access to their team site, they've decided to create a communication site which will allow them to publish to everyone in the company. So let's now have a look at how to create a communication site and what options we have. We create the communication site from the SharePoint page. So you're gonna to need to go to the app launcher and then SharePoint. And when you land on this page, you're gonna see the create site button again. And when we hit that, we get the option of the team site or the communication site. So we're gonna choose communication site. And the first thing you're gonna see on the left here is a drop down that gives you a choice of topic showcase and blank. These are just templates for the site, which have some elements, images, posts, pages, and so and so already added to the site. So topic and showcase have content already there and blank is basically starting from scratch. A topic site is for if you have ongoing need to communicate. Say you were a sales organization that wanted to publish sales information to the rest of the company and you were doing that on a regular basis. A topic site would be a good choice for that type of uh, communication. There's also the showcase site. So showcase is when you want to talk about a product, a team or an event and you're gonna use photos, images, stories to do that. So a showcase for our events team is the ideal way to publish the information that they're creating. So I'm gonna choose the showcase site and I'm gonna call this site company events. And you can see we've got a site address which we can edit. So if you hit the little pencil icon there, you can change this site address. And below there is the URL, so the address it's going to use. And if we add to the site address in here, it gets added to the address down here. So I'm just gonna take that default, that looks good to me. And then in the description, I'm just gonna say the, so it's the communication site for the events team. Then I'm gonna finish. So now it's landed me on the home page of my company event site. And the images uh, are organized in a gallery. We've got different posts here, like make an impression, share your strategy, and bring your results to light. So these are just fake posts to show me what this could look like. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Remember that video was taken from SharePoint for Beginners that you can find at our online school at school.collaboration.coach. See you next time.